I hope you're doing well. How about you keep me company whilst I put this face together and ramble and just talk about things? Does that sound like a plan? Awesome. You're about to see me without makeup. So, as you can see, I've got no makeup on, uh, so let's just put some makeup on and chill together. How's the sound? Cool. How have you been? What is new with you? start by just putting a boosting radiance cream on my face. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I feel like doing. And this one's quite shiny. It, it'd be shiny. It'd be cute or whatever. So I'm just gonna was a gift from a few years ago, so it's probably expired, but I rarely use it, so I'm not going to check it out, you know? And then just rummage it in my hair, I guess. <laughs> I need to plan videos, don't I? I need to plan what I'm doing. Concealer. So. It's still very windy. It's not going anywhere, it seems. And it's also snowed quite a bit. I'll show you. It kind of just feels like life's a bit of a mess, doesn't it? I definitely feel like that right now. I'll cut my damp. Beauty Blender. So we're just gonna pat all of this in. But yeah. Things just feel a bit sh- I'm sorry. Things just feel a bit bad, don't they? Difficult to- process, difficult to go through, difficult to deal with, and I completely get that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take some time to ourselves, aren't we? We're gonna take some time to ourselves to relax, digest whatever it is that we're going on, or whatever we're going through, not we're going on, whatever we're going through. Remember to breathe, and as long as we try, it'll be okay. I know it doesn't seem like it. 
believe me. I know it doesn't seem like it. But it will, hon. We're both going to get through this. I've got you and you've got me. And as long as we have our support system, we can get through anything, can't we? I believe in us. I believe in you. I believe in your strength and positivity. I believe that you're hardworking and you will achieve whatever you set your mind to. You're that kind of person. It's okay to be in a rut right now because Moments like these remind you that you are, in fact, human, and you need to take time towards yourself. You know? You forget it from time to time. But you're not responsible for anyone else. You're only responsible for you and your actions your wants and needs. You shouldn't feel guilty for putting yourself first. And sometimes we just need to be reminded of that, don't we? I know I do. <laughs> Trust your intuition. Trust your guts. You are in charge of you. You are responsible for yourself, and only yourself. You are capable of doing whatever you set your mind to. From the smallest little things like brushing your teeth, to finding your feet, and creating your own life for yourself. We're getting deep. <laughs> and I'm Staying away from the microphone. I don't even know if you can hear me. I haven't tested any of this. But sometimes you just gotta go for it. Not think. I woke up today at 2 a.m. Typically, over the past few weeks, I've been falling asleep between 3 and 6 or 7 a.m. No matter what I do, I haven't been able to change it. But last night, I fell asleep on the sofa with my dog, Tilly. Around 10 o'clock. Woke up around 11-ish. And went back to bed. Woke up at 1. And then at 2, 2.30. And then I just stayed awake. Where was I going with that? I'm gonna watch back on the footage and know where I was going and I don't know where I was going. I sidetracked myself. Hello? Right. Whilst I try and remember what it was that I was gonna say, I am going to put some powder on my face. Because I make an awful lot of facial expressions and I'm about to crease. I'm about to look like a piece of crumpled up paper. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little brush that I use for blush. I'm just going to dab it under the eyes and then I'm going to take a cute little powder puff that is massive and it makes me feel like a little princess whenever I use it I take a little powder puff that's not so little and I just
try and stop me from looking like crumpled up paper. some beauty lights on just because when I started filming this the sun was out and now the sun has said goodbye but it was there when I woke up so I'm not going to be all bitchy about it I'm going to contour bronze my face I don't know the difference between the two um, to try and get some of that color Try and get some of that life back into me. It's February and it's raining and snowing non stop. Mm. Have you started or tried anything new during lockdown or during 2021? Have you started anything new? I told myself that in 2021 I would continue journaling and keeping a diary to stay up to date with what I was doing each day and give a little summary as to what it is that I've been doing to help improve my memory and to try and find the positive things. It's really difficult to try and stay motivated with everything going on. It's difficult to find or create a routine for yourself when there is nothing to keep you in that routine. You don't realize that you don't have any self-discipline until you lose your job and you're stuck at home and you are stuck in isolation and you can't leave and you fall through the rails and don't go to uni and aren't sleeping until 5 or 6 in the morning and waking up at 2 or 3 in the afternoon Anxiety and depression can make self-discipline very difficult. So it's important each day to do little things and try to make sure that try to make sure that you survive. That's a bit of a downer, sorry. The past few weeks have been quite difficult for me personally. I understand that everyone has their own reasons for things being difficult, but I need to remind myself that yes, other people are finding things that are difficult, but I'm also finding things that are difficult. My feelings and how I'm feeling and what I'm going through is valid. There may be people going through things that are worse, and there are people that are going through things that are worse. But that doesn't mean that I'm not experiencing what I'm experiencing. That doesn't mean that you're not experiencing what you're experiencing. And what we both feel, and what, we both go, what we're both going through, is valid. How it's affecting us is valid. How we choose to respond is valid. I find that an awful lot of the time when you talk to someone about what you're feeling or going through 
you get sympathy rather than empathy. And I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Is my nose too pink? No, it's fine. <laughs> People comparing your situation to theirs in a negative way or comparing your situation to others and how you don't have it as bad as you think and whilst it comes from a place of caring and love an awful lot of the time doesn't validate what it is that you're feeling or thinking or going through and you just want validation or reassurance that what you're feeling is real it's okay to be going through it and you'll come out the other side you don't need someone to say at least you don't have a mortgage to pay at least you don't have kids mouths to feed because then it just makes you feel guilty and that you're just complaining doesn't it i completely get it there are people out there that understand there are people out there who are experiencing the same things as you similar situations as you they're going through the same emotions and thinking process as you right now at this very moment This video is all over the place, but I want you to know that you are valid. What you've gone through is valid. How it's affected you is valid. And what you choose to do is valid. You are so, so strong. So much stronger than you realize. There's a warrior inside you. And you fight. You both fight. And we get through it. Though it may be raining right now. The sun is hiding behind the clouds. The clouds may come and go. The clouds may block the sun every now and then. They may bring rain or snow or thunder and lightning. But the sun is always behind it shining through and waiting. It's the same with life. I have been speaking for forever and I need to do my makeup. <laughs> Let's see if I can do my brows from a distance, like a meter distance. Right. What is it with beauty gurus never showing you how they do their eyes? I'm just saying. Why y'all do it? <laughs> <sighs> you have to laugh at yourself. Find the things you say funny or entertaining. Or... You have to enjoy your company or try to. Because you've got your entire life to live. And the only person that's going to stick with it, stick with you, the entire time is you. You don't want to go through your entire life hating the person that's staying with you. been 
seeing an awful lot of TikToks recently of um, twin flame uh, cutting rituals and shadow work to do with your inner child and before TikTok I always found this stuff kind of interesting um, I've always enjoyed nature, I've always been drawn to nature and I really like on TikTok how you've got these different communities and um, different people who have platforms that can uh, voice their teachings and share it with people. I love the amount of positivity that is on TikTok. I'm on a very nice side of TikTok. I'm on a witchy, um, positive mental health, shadow work, inner child, trauma healing side of TikTok. <laughs> it just says that I have a lot of work to do. And that was my elbow clicking because even though I am a 20 year old, I have the body of an 80 year old. And my sister says that I talk and act like a grandma as well, so. I'm doing makeup with both my eyes closed. Oh, come on, no eyes. I'm very funny, I know. If you're still sticking around, I have no clue. Are you okay? Are we both okay? I know the answer. The answer is no. <laughs> but we've got each other. So we're fine. I get it. I get it. We both bad bitches. They can't kill us. So, what I'm doing is I am just putting some eyeshadow on my eyes. Make my eyes pop and pretty, pretty, just like you. Yes, you are. Yes, you're pretty. You're gorgeous. You're stunning. You are fabulous. Nobody deserves you or the time and energy that you put into them. It's time to take the energy that you put out towards other people. It's time to take that energy. It's time to take that energy and bring it in for yourself. been troubling you recently. Are you still in contact with any of your friends and family? If you're living with any friends and family, are you hanging out with them or are you sticking more to yourself in your own space?
Are you safe? Are you okay? Is this putting you into a spiral? And are you having a panic attack right now because of me? It's okay, we can feel like we're dying together. In reality, though, if you are, please breathe. You're okay. Everything is okay. Relax. 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 You are safe. Good enough for me. How about I talk about myself for a little bit so you get to know me a bit better? I am 20. I turned 21 this year in May. And a part of me is stressing about Because to an awful lot of people, turning 21 is a big deal. It's a big number. And I'm between thinking, I need to get my life in order. I need to find a new job. I lost uh, the last two jobs I had, I lost them both because of COVID. Um. Which makes me very sad because I really enjoyed working at them both. The people that I worked with were really nice and the atmosphere in both of them was really nice. It was very friendly. I enjoyed going into work and it, I didn't have a negative experience with it, which is something new. Which is quite sad, isn't it? So yeah, I'm between thinking, I'm turning 21, I need to find a new job, I need to finish uni, I need to move out, I need to figure myself out as a person, I need to survive each day. And another part of me is, I'm just thinking, How can I do that? How can I face each day when there are so many negative things going on in the world? Where there are so many setbacks that we all experience through no fault of our own. It's difficult to want to leave home and move out, especially when you've already had that experience of leaving home and moving out. It's difficult to come to terms with that because you feel that guilt inside of you for leaving and for wanting to leave and grow up and find your own self. You feel bad for all of that and then you start to think, how can I rely on myself? How do I know that I will be safe and secure? How do I know that I will take care of myself properly? Go to work, pay for the bills, pay for rent, car, if you have to pay for a car, food. How am I going to be able to take care of myself? How did I do it before? How can I do it again? 
I find that the way I think about it is that you're not going to go anywhere just sitting. You have to get up and walk. If you're able to walk, that is. I say that because my dad's disabled and whenever I say anything about uh, walking or things that able-bodied people can do, like jumping, etc, 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 I just hear him in the back of my voice saying, are you telling a guy in a wheelchair to a lot of issues. <laughs> and the first one is being ginger. The way I'm personally thinking about it and trying to remind myself and think about it is that I'm not going to be able to go anywhere or experience anything new if I just sit and don't do anything. I personally am lucky enough to know that. If shit hits the fan, I can come back home. And yes, it's scary to think about going out and starting a new chapter on your life by yourself. Especially when you have mental health issues or physical disabilities, something that makes it harder to live with yourself, not live with yourself, live by yourself, and um, cope better. Because you've always got that question of, what if this happens? What if that happens? A way to think of it is that it'll happen eventually. Whatever you're worried about will probably happen at some point in your life. Worrying about it now isn't going to do you any good. Letting it fester and become something so big in your mind that it becomes a barrier stopping you from making choices for yourself. To expand and grow as a person. It doesn't have a positive effect on you. Whatever you're worried about will probably happen. And it will be shit. But it's something to worry about when it happens. One thing I'm really worried about is um, having a panic or anxiety attack when I live by myself. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm not leaving. Because that's a new experience and it's a new negative experience and rather than leaving and opening myself up to experiencing that negative thing I find comfort in staying home, staying where my parents are staying where things are familiar things are predictable you know? so I just have to remind myself when I get that worry, when I get that feeling, I have to tell myself to just try and breathe, to relax, and that yes, it is scary, the thought of that happening is scary, and when it will happen, it will be scary, it'll be different, it'll be horrible. But it passes. The anxiety and panic attacks always pass. So I will be okay. I'm eventually going to leave home. I'm eventually going to have a panic or anxiety attack in my own place. And that's just something I'm going to have to live with. But if I sit and wait and don't do anything about it. If I just sit and wait and don't move forward, 
I'm just holding myself back from so many positive opportunities because I'm scared of one bad thing and yes, it's a shitty thing but it's not like I'm having panic or anxiety attacks here every now and then as well, you know thankfully, this subsided because the depression levels have <laughs> depression has taken over I'm deciding whether I want to do a winged eyeliner or if I want to make a kind of Okay. What do you think? I'm feeling smoky. I'm feeling smoky. We'll go smoky. If you said smoky, good job. If you said winged, good job. That's big, oh god. Huh? This is a really messy makeup look today. I'm proud of myself for putting makeup on though. I sometimes feel stupid for putting that time into you just to make yourself feel good. But, hey ho. I'm going to zoom you in, why not? I cannot guarantee I will stay in focus the entire time But you can see my eyeballs Say hello to my eyeballs Okay Am I doing this right? Probably not But it's what I do every single time I do this, so it's fine as long as it works for me That's all that matters I can already tell I'm going to open up my eye And it's going to be on my lower lash line And I'm not going to be happy about it But that's okay If it has happened, we will just blend it away Has it happened? Kind of, and that's alright Because we are just going to Blend it away or make it worse, that's okay too, I guess <laughs> Right? Well, we're just gonna leave that I'll go to the other eye The sun's coming back I love the sun I'm really excited for summer I'm excited for blue skies being there all the time and the sun being out I'm excited for the warmth and to go for walks and have my feet barefoot on sand and grass you know, and just enjoy life I'm going to zoom you up because I feel like I'm going to be scaring you right now Remember the pinky? Always got to have the pinky up I think makeup is so amazing I love that we have the ability to Yes, we can change our appearances and how we look We can change our facial features and how they shape our face Like if I wanted, I could make my chin not so chin-like And I've always hated my chin until recently Up until recently, I have always hated my chin and my ears Because my chin is like a square and my ears are like elephant ears They stick out My chin is gorgeous And I just have my granddad's ears Why should I hate them? They're a part of me And they're always going to be a part of me So what's the point in hating them? 
what is the point? There is none. There's no point in hating yourself. I have an awful lot of issues with food. Over the past few years, I've had a few issues with food, and um, I still do. They come and go. Um, it depends on how my meds are affecting my body, or how my depressive episodes or anxiety are affecting it. I saw a video on TikTok. Everything I see is on TikTok. <laughs> Um, I saw a video on TikTok of a woman recovering from an eating disorder and she showed three different videos, one of her with a bowl of pasta crying over it and her family talking to her through it, another one of her drinking a milkshake, and then another one of her happily eating a bowl of pasta. And the caption said, it says something across the lines of life is too short to be scared of pasta. And it is. Life is too short to be scared of what you need, which is food. Life is too short to be scared of the things that we an awful lot of the time are scared of. Food. Rejection. Loss. All the things that we're scared of are inevitable. They're going to happen. So we should just live our life anyway and enjoy it. Easier said than done. to just apply a bit of highlighter because it might be a bit difficult to do it in the corner of the eyes and that kind of stuff. Try and stay prepared. I've had this for years. Whenever I use this, <laughs> whenever I use this highlighter, it always makes me think of fifth year in school, surprisingly enough. And the reason for that is because I used it an awful lot during a school show. In fifth year, I joined the drama club. Outside of school hours drama club, you know. And the year I joined, we did a performance of Annie with a Gun. And it was absolutely so much fun. My 
close friend, one of my close friends from school, Rachel. She played Annie and she was absolutely amazing and it was so much fun. Uh, I was one of the... I was one of the... <laughs> I was one of the girls. I remember, like if you've seen the, if you've seen the musical version of Annie with a Gun, you'll probably remember... There's a girl in Arkansas. Da, 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 da. I'm a bad, bad man. I'm a bad, bad man. <laughs> it was a bad, bad man. I was one of the girls in that number. Like I was one of the girls who danced with him. Oh God! I felt so stupid. <laughs> Oh, I felt so stupid because around that time I was struggling with food and I was losing weight and I felt quite <laughs> lanky and like, yeah it was very fun said how, you know, one eye always turns up better than the other, and I preferred this side to this side. Celery. Celery. Nothing to stress over. Only you really notice these little things, you know. Everyone else is just staring at your gorgeous face, thinking, those eyelashes, you're stunning. And you're just there thinking, That's okay. I'm just going to apply a uh, Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil from Beauty Pie. Just put a little bit of setting spray. Spray it on me or is yet another unscripted fast shit video <laughs> unscripted, unplanned straight off the rails just going with the flow saying what I was thinking and feeling should probably start planning and scripting the videos a bit more but I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed spending time with you today like this and just trying to you and saying things that I was feeling and getting it off of my chest and talking to you. I hope you enjoyed our time too. I hope 
us just chilling and relaxing together kept you nice and company it kept me company thank you very much I'm gonna go head on with my day I hope you do too and I'll talk to you again soon thank you very much for keeping me company and remember everything I said in this video about you capable and you will get through this just like you've gone through everything else before there's no exception you are remarkable